Yo, what's up guys? It's DJ Rick Webb. And I am Eric Massingale, and this is the $1,000 DJ setup. Complete DJ setup for basically beginners for, or intermediates for $1,000. Alright guys, so it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. I have with me Eric Mazingale, as you guys know, of Dow Oak events, not Dow Oaks. So yeah, today we have a complete setup, a complete DJ setup, including a facade, table, mixer, a little mini mixer, wireless mics, mic speakers, lights, everything you will need for a standard DJ setup, and it's right around a thousand dollars, depending on a few of the things you get. You can definitely upgrade some areas like your speakers, and it'll be a little bit more than a thousand, and you can can uh, downgrade some areas so if you like don't want wireless mics it'll be actually under a thousand dollars yeah we're gonna show you some different options as for price range and whatnot but um you know this is pretty identical to the exact setup that my company used when we were brand new so that we could basically jump into uh you know a multi-op company on a budget and it worked so let me quickly show you what all is on the table here and then we're gonna start setting it up out in the driveway like you saw in the intro shot so walk me through here left to right what are some of the high level things we're gonna be using here so over here we got okay so this would be a facade in in its bag um, we're using Cedar link brand this is a wireless mic if you were to use a wireless mic this one particularly it's a GTD it can cover a ceremony and a reception handheld and clip-on lapel mm -hmm. um, we've got some speaker stands just some Amazon basic speaker stands. A DJ controller that is able to work with a cell phone or a laptop. Pioneer DDJ 200. You guys have seen a video on that I made. A couple cables just to plug everything in. Um, you know, we've got our Chinese our, lights, yeah, just our par, some Chinese pars, our lights. Um, this is a miniature mixer, uh, just a two channel so that we can run our music and our microphone separately, control all the volume real good. And then, you know, this is for the lights, T bar, here are the speakers, and that is everything. And a table and the table and a wired mic as well. Yes. We have a wired mic option as well. And we will walk you through as we're setting up. We'll basically go a little more detailed into everything you're seeing here, how much it costs to buy uh, and we can have like a running total on the screen as well but everything that we're gonna like show you guys is linked in the description down below so let's get into it just quickly we brushed on it but this is a complete setup the only thing we're assuming that you have for this setup is either a cell phone or an iPad or a laptop to be able to operate the DJ controller. And the DJ controller we're using, if you guys haven't seen, I made a full video on it. It's the Pioneer DJ 200. You can use a cell phone to DJ with it, which is pretty awesome. Let's get out into the driveway where we got some more space and let's start setting this up. Starting off, we have a table. Honestly, for a table, you should be able to honestly find one from like your parents or just a, a used table laying around, garage sales. Like tables are pretty easy to come by, but we put 20 bucks in the budget for a table. Find one on Facebook Marketplace. You'll find Face a really awesome one for $20, I can assure you. That's gonna be a common theme with a lot of the expensive stuff in this video. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, finding used gear, um, is a huge way to save a lot of money on your first setup. All right, so now we have speaker stands. Uh, we added $30 for speaker stands if you wanna grab the Amazon Basics, uh, brand new from Amazon, or yet again, go to Facebook Marketplace, and I'm sure you can get a nicer brand for about the same price. By the way, this is a great time, Eric, to mention, uh, me and Eric started a podcast together. If you need some DJ advice on your DJ business, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button for our new podcast, and me and Rick will be going over the latest and greatest topics. Which is basically the reason why we decided to go ahead and jump on starting this is the coronavirus and how it is affecting our business. All right, so this is the most expensive portion of the whole entire setup. It's your DJ speakers. And uh, as you guys know, I have a lot of videos on recommended DJ speakers, especially beginner speakers. What we're using today is actually EVZLX 15Ps. Now, for the setup, we don't actually have the speakers that we would get to do this $1,000 setup, but it would be a used set of EV ZLX 12 piece. And if you search hard enough on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay, you can find a pair of used EV ZLX 12 piece for right around $400, or you could probably find a pair of used Mackie Fumps for around $400 as well. So for this $1,000 setup, we're considering that you're buying used speakers 
probably some EVZLX 12Ps or some Mackie Fumps for right around $400. Now, if you did go with the EVZLX 15Ps, which are, if you remember from my beginner speaker video, is my like number one recommended speaker, you can typically 100% of the time find these used for around $500 to $600 a pair, but that's going to shoot you over this $1,000 budget that we're going for, but that is something you can consider. Again, go check out the beginner speaker video. It dives into all the differences between the five that I recommended in that video. But for this setup, we're doing $400, up there $400 for the speakers. And again, use speakers, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, uh, and I'll link the ones that we recommend in the description down below. All right, so the piece de resistance, the DJ controller and the mixer. Eric's gonna talk about this mixer here in a second, but the DJ controller that we chose for this setup is a controller that's very, very beginner friendly, and that is the Pioneer DDJ 200. And the main reason for that is because all you need to be able to use this is your phone, an iPad, or you can use a computer. So it is very versatile. I have a full video showing you how you use this thing on my channel, so we'll link that in the description down below as well. But this is a simple two deck controller. So you got two decks, you got two jog wheels, you got your volume faders, you got a cross fader, you got effects, you got performance pads. Basically, it's a very, very, very compact standard Pioneer layout, which is awesome for beginner DJs. And again, it's awesome because it works with either your phone, an iPad, or a computer. To hook this up, it has a USB cable right here. So if you're using a computer, you just plug this into your computer. But if you're using a phone, you hook it up to a little power brick and plug it into power. And then they have this included cable right here. And this is a Y cable. It has both an output for the audio and for your headphones. So you can do queuing with this, another awesome feature. And uh, the way this works, I explained it in my video, but you plug this into your device, your iPad, your phone whatever you plug one side into your headphones you plug the other side into your mixer and then it uses a Bluetooth connection to this so this connects to your device via Bluetooth and then you MIDI control it it works really well really seamlessly literally no lag and um, this is the controller that we chose and price wise the Pioneer DDJ 200 right now is hundred and fifty dollars so it fits into our budget nicely these little sub-zero mixers right here we actually still use them even though we've upgraded other equipment um, these have worked since day one they're flawless for our use there are two channels um, so you can just plug your music and your microphone directly in, XLR or quarter inch directly in. There's a gain knob, high, mids, and lows you can adjust. You have your headphone out in case you have a videographer trying to get your audio. And you have backup channels as well. Um, so you can plug a backup mix through that if your gear crashes for any reason and you need to you know, go to a mix for a second while you reload all your stuff. And these Sub-Zero mixers, it's actually the SZ Mix 04, are $55 and therefore, you know, it's the cheapest and best mixer we found to fit the budget for this $1,000 setup. All right, so now we're gonna be talking about the microphones for the system. And the system that we're designing for this $1,000 is actually gonna be used wireless mics. And specifically, we have the GTD Audio wireless mics. It's the G733. And these are actually the exact mics that I started with. I still have them in my garage. So some of the awesome options about these mics, each receiver has two channels. And then you can go left and right and control them separately, or you can use a mix out, which controls both on the same line out cord. And that's how we have it plugged in right here. And this cord actually comes with the kit, so that's one less cord you actually have to buy. It comes with the quarter inch, uh, quarter inch to quarter inch cable that we use for this setup. Yes, yeah, so for this exact scenario right here, you can use two separate volume controlled wireless microphones. And honestly, I've tested these on some serious distance. These things can cross half to a full football field sometimes with no messing up in any way. And it's good to point out that this is actually, so if you guys know, um, I've had these for a while, Eric's had these for a while. The one we have right here is actually the updated model that uses the new frequency band. I, I can't remember off the top of my head what the numbers are, but this is this will work with the new regulation and stuff. It's not in the 600 band like the old ones are. Yeah, it's the high 500 band for this. Yeah, I the high it's like 500. 560 or something like that around that area. And um, you can also, when you order mm -hmm. these, you can either get two handhelds or you can get a combo with one handheld and a lapel microphone. Microphone. So you could actually use this setup for a ceremony with that um, for no additional cost. And uh, price-wise, we're looking at what, Eric? 150. 150 on brand the wire. New. Brand new. 
Um, this is not used at all, brand new, $150. You can get either two handhelds or a handheld and a lapel. And this right here fits into the $1,000 budget that we are going for. But if you wanna get even cheaper on your setup and get a little bit less than $1,000, you can go with something like this right here, which is an Audio-Technica wired mic. This is actually my original microphone that I started with. So before I got wireless mics, I actually used this exact microphone right here. It only costs eight bucks, and actually it sounds pretty good to be honest it's not the greatest thing in the world but for general announcements as a DJ it'll get by just fine I actually did a lot of my introductions when I first started at weddings with this exact mic so it does work it is pretty good um, and it only costs eight bucks versus 150 and the microphone is a quarter inch in I don't have the quarter inch adapter with me we actually have a headphone jack to XLR but uh, when you buy this mic it comes with a quarter inch in plugs in the same as what the wireless microphone does. So that is our microphone segment for this setup. So we've shown you all the gear, everything that we are using for this setup. Uh, now this comes the point in the pricing where we gotta talk about the cables that connect everything because you can't just buy the gear, you gotta buy the cables too. That's how it works. So let's go through all the cables that we're gonna be using and then we'll plug it all in. All right, so to start off with cables, we have power and the power cables we chose are these right here which are 15 foot uh, surge protectors. So they have six outlets on them and they're 15 foot long. And this one actually has a flat end to it too, which is very handy for plugging into outlets. Um, so we're actually using two of these. One of them is gonna be used to power everything you see here. And then the other one is actually gonna go up to our T-bar, which we're gonna get to next that has all of our lights that we're gonna be using in this setup. And the audio cables that we're gonna be using, um, we have two of these. It is a quarter inch on one side to an XLR on the other side. Those go from your miniature mixer into your inputs on your speakers and then your speakers will come with two IEC power cables and that is how you power your speakers and plug your audio through your speakers. So now these right here are actually not the ones that came with these speakers. Your speakers will come with six foot IECs and for this setup we're assuming that you're going to be using the IECs that came with your speakers because we're really close to the table. They're going to plug in very easily but if you did want to upgrade uh, we'll link them in the description down below. We're not including it in our total here um, but there you can get these these ones right here which are like 15 foot IECs so you can really spread your speakers out if you want to. And then you'll also need uh, this simple cable right here which is basically just an aux cable with a headphone to XLR cable and this is what's going to connect our audio from our device right here on our output plug it in here, plug this into our mixer. All the cables that we are gonna be using, all the ones that we're purchasing for this are gonna run $40 and they'll all be linked in the description down below. Eric is all set up and ready to DJ check it out. Uh, ignore our cabling right now because we're gonna put a nice facade that hides all of that. But uh... Check. Check one, two. Hello, hello. So if everything's set up and working, this is basically the setup. So um, I have my iPad here. You could use your phone as well or a laptop in this case. But basically this Bluetooth's over, like I mentioned. I have a full video on this, so if you guys wanna go check it out. But you got your hot cues and everything. Old people anger. Yeah, Eric lives with a bunch of old people, so we gotta be careful. But you got your hot cues, you got your fade in and out everything works so you're all set and ready to dj um everything for the dj side goes into our line two here so you have your level control the low the high the gain and then your mic's all set up on line one and as eric showed check, check. the mic works perfectly fine too we have everything set up and ready to dj now all we need is some lights all right so for the lighting portion of this setup we are going to be using a t-bar with four chinese pars now we don't actually physically have the exact t-bar and the exact lights that we are using in this setup but I'm going to show you guys some clips right now of that setup that I use when I was a beginner DJ light bar is way up there today but basically the t-bar is a standard t-bar it actually goes up to 10 feet in the air um, we're actually using my Odyssey one here this one's definitely outside of the budget uh, but that t-bar that I have is only $35 it's very cheap it works really well and you can mount up four lights onto it. And the lights that uh, we chose are basically some Chinese uh, knockoff PARs. I have a whole video on these Chinese PARs. They're great for what they do. And especially if you're on a budget, these lights work out really well. So for four of these Chinese PARs, 
it's going to be $90 and then for the T-bar it's going to be $35 and that is what we're going to be using for lighting in this setup. Now ladies and gentlemen we are coming to the end of this setup and we have the final piece to resistance as Eric brings it in, the facade. So Eric tell us about this facade, it looks pretty looks pretty dope. So these are the facades that we actually use in my company, um, folded up, which they don't uh, come apart. This, as you can see, you can just completely, immediately set it up. That's a nice feature compared to like the ADJ facade. It actually, the panels will pop apart. Yeah, and it's um, hard as crap to get back together. But this is a Cedars Link Event DJ facade. They cost $120. Um, it comes with a, a, a bag, and an extra pair of scrims. If you don't want white, you can go black. Fold it up, it will fit into any small four-door car, maybe even a two-door car if you really try. And that right there is our DJ setup. Check it out, that is the $1,000 DJ setup. Now imagine there's four lights up there and not one, but I mean, even walking up to it, that's clean. Clean setup, clean speakers. Yeah, no. Obviously you can raise your speakers up a little bit higher. We kept them down just because we're outside. So if you guys been following along at home with all of the, and doing the math and that, well, we'll spare you the thing. So the grand total for everything you're seeing here, the facade, the speakers, which we budgeted for $400, the tripods, the mixer, the wireless microphones, the T-bar with four pars, the grand total is, $1,050. So we are a little bit over $1,000. Like we mentioned originally with the wireless microphone, if you want to save money, you can go with that wired mic. And if you buy the wired mic, you're going to actually be at $950, $50 under $1,000. So that is what we have come up with for a budget system and actually this is literally like our beginner systems right here like this is basically what i use as a beginner dj it's kind of what eric's whole entire company used as beginner as a beginning company so it's solid to say the least first hand experience this setup works and it works well um, you know, you don't have to drop a bunch of money on a DJ setup to successfully complete a wedding. It's going to fall on your skill and how well you know your gear, but um, you know, this will definitely do the job. Now we definitely want to touch on a few of those little upgrades, uh, such as the microphone like we mentioned, but like speaker wise, speakers are a very big variable. It's definitely going to be the most amount of money on your setup. If you wanted to go a little bit more, spend maybe $500, $600, it will push you up to more or less right around $1,200 for the whole entire package, but if you wanted to upgrade to some bigger better speakers if you wanted to buy new that's more or less where you would be looking at also kind of want to mention with the mixer the pioneer ddj 200 is a great mixer if you do not have a laptop if you do not have a laptop just like your phone an ipad it works really great to dj with so if you do have a laptop i would highly recommend looking at the pioneer ddj SB3. That is like the solid beginner controller. Um, it's going to give you RCA outs and it works with your laptop. It'll work for Serato. It'll work for Rekordbox. It's a great starting controller. So instead of the DDJ200 that costs $150, you're going to be looking at $250. So another $100. Again, these are just some variables that you guys can play around with to make a setup around a thousand dollars maybe 1500 if you're looking to buy all new stuff again we highly recommend for like some of this gear especially like the table your speakers maybe your speaker stands or even like a mixer and stuff like that you can find a lot of used gear out there some great sources are like uh, uh, facebook marketplace offer up craigslist all three of those are super great options for finding used gear ebay and lastly before we go here eric uh what's there there's another thing that you and me do a lot of nowadays where people can go uh, listen to us and actually watch us because we have a whole YouTube channel for what, what, what is it we do again? Uh, it is the DJ Life Podcast. Oh yeah! It's basically a full length podcast, high quality we, we made sure it's a high quality podcast. Uh, it's also on Spotify and Anchor. But anyways guys, that is the thousand dollar DJ setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, slap a like on this video. Be sure to leave down in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the video. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for gear, places to get it, any comments, questions, concerns, leave it down there. Eric will be answering questions. I'll be answering questions. Leave it down there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to both my channel and the DJ Life Podcast. And uh, that's all. My name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the market spinning. And uh, from me and Eric, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. DJ Life Podcast. Subscribe.